Hi, everybody. I have to say I've missed seeing your smiling faces these last two weeks, but I want to say to everybody, we can do this and we have to stick together. But what I'm also excited to share is I was able to borrow the next four Magic Treehouse books from Landon. He is my backdoor neighbor, as many of you know, and so he tossed them over the fence to me the other day. So today I'm going to start number 21, Civil War on Sunday. Now I know some of you might have already gone online and listened to it, but I'm thinking I'm just going to start it today. And I'll read two chapters like I do every Monday when we start a new book. So in this series, 21, 22, 23, and 24, Jack and Annie have to find a new challenge. They must find four special writings for Morgan's library to help save Camelot. They are about to set off to find the first of these. Chapter 1, A Light in the Woods. Jack looked out his window. It was a dreary Sunday afternoon. There were dark clouds in the sky. Not like today, as you can tell. Thunder rumbled in the distance. Jack stared down the street at the Frog Creek Woods. When is the magic treehouse coming back, he wondered. Hey, guess what, Annie said. She charged into Jack's room. I saw a light flash in the woods. It was just lightning, said Jack. No, it was magic. A swirl of light, said Annie. I think the treehouse just came back. I'm sure it was just lightning, Jack said. Didn't you hear the thunder? Yes, yeah, said Annie, but let's go check anyway. She started out of Jack's room. Then she peeked back, back in. Bring your backpack, just in case, she said. Jack was always glad for a chance to look for the magic treehouse. He grabbed his backpack and followed Annie down the stairs. Where are you two going, their mom called. Oh, just out to play, said Annie. Don't go far, said Mom, and come back in if it starts to rain. We will, said Jack. Don't worry. They slipped out the front door. Then they ran up the street and into the Frog Creek Woods. The woods were dark under the storm clouds. A cool wind shook the leaves. Soon Jack and Annie came to the tallest oak tree. Oh, man, said Jack. You were right. The magic tree house stood out against the gray sky. Morgan, called Annie. There was no sign of the enchantress. Let's go up, said Jack. He grabbed the rope ladder and started up. Annie followed. They climbed into the treehouse. It was hard to see in the dim light. Look, said Annie. She pointed to a piece of paper and a book lying on the floor. Jack picked up the paper and Annie picked up the book. Listen, said Jack. He held the paper close to the window and read aloud. Dear Jack and Annie, Mo Camelot is in trouble. To save the kingdom, you must find four special writings for my library. Something to follow, something to send, something to learn, something to lend. Thank you, Morgan. Camelot is in trouble, said Jack. What does that mean? I don't know, said Annie, but we better hurry and find these writings. Let's go for the first, something to follow. I wonder where we should look for it, said Jack. What's the title of the book you're holding? Annie held the book close to the window and read the title. Oh, yikes, she said softly. She showed the cover to Jack. On the cover was a painting of a peaceful-looking field in a blue sky. The title said, The Civil War. The Civil War, said Jack? That sounds cool. Annie frowned. Cool, she said. War's not cool. Well... It sort of is, said Jack uncomfortably. He knew war was bad, but some parts of it seemed fun. I guess we'll find out, said Annie. She pointed to the cover. I wish we could go there, she said. Thunder boomed through the woods. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Now. Chapter 2 is called Cruel War. Glaring sunlight filled the treehouse. It's really hot here, said Jack, especially in these clothes, said Annie. Their clothes had magically changed. Annie wore a long dress. Jack wore scratchy, scratchy pants and a long sleeve shirt. His backpack was now a leather knapsack. Where are we, asked Annie. They looked out the window together. The treehouse had landed in a tree at the edge of the field. 
the same field on the cover of the book. It looks peaceful, said Jack. Where's the Civil War? There, Annie whispered with a shiver. She pointed to the woods beyond the field. Jack saw a soldier riding a horse out of the woods. The horse was covered with mud. The soldier's blue uniform was torn and his arm was bloody. Another man rode into the field. His blue uniform was rags too and his head was bandaged. Oh man, whispered Jack, who are they? He opened the Civil War book and found a painting of some soldiers in blue and he read to Annie. From 1861 to 1865, the Civil War was also called the War Between the States because it was fought between the Southern and the Northern States of the United States. Southerners wore gray uniforms and were called Confederate soldiers. Northerners wore blue uniforms and were called Northern or were called Union soldiers. And that is the factual part because it's always in the black type. So that's where our nonfiction facts come in. So they're Union soldiers, said Jack. He pulled out his notebook and wrote, Civil War, 1861 through 1865. Blue equals North and the Union. Gray equals South and the Confederates. Jack looked at his book again and he read aloud, The Civil War was a cruel war. More people died in this war than in all of the Americas' other wars put together. One out of every five young men in the nation died or was wounded. That's so sad, said Annie. Jack wrote in his notebook, Cruel War. Wow, they keep coming, said Annie. Jack looked up. More Union soldiers were coming through the field. These didn't have horses. They all looked sad and weary. Some of them limped. Some of them helped others along. One man stumbled and fell down. I have to help, said Annie. Wait, said Jack. She stepped down the she started down the rope ladder. You can't help, said Jack. A kid can't help. But Annie just kept going. Don't forget, we have to find some special writing for Morgan, Jack called out loud. Something to follow. He packed the Civil War book and his notebook in his knapsack. Then he started down the ladder. When he stepped onto the ground, Jack saw Annie in the distance. She was helping, she was holding her hand out to a fallen soldier. She helped him to his feet. The soldier slowly started walking again, and Annie walked beside him. Oh, brother, said Jack, and he hurried to catch up with Annie. The sun was scorching hot as Jack ran through the dry field. He was sweating in these scratchy clothes. He caught up with Annie. Together they walked silently with the soldiers. At the edge of the field was a steep hill. Everyone stopped and gazed at the sight below them. Rows and rows of white tents. Thank goodness, said the soldier beside Jack. We are saved. Chapter 3 will be called Field Hospital, and you'll have to tune in tomorrow to see Chapter 3 or to listen to Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. Thank you. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.